Hello, hope we're all okay. Another catch up on the allotment. As you said, Paulie, where was the next edition? Here it is. Sit down and enjoy. Roll credits. So, in the greenhouse, um, they predicted rain and it's rained. Not that hard. They said um, within an hour, and I think we waited two. So, didn't have much of a downpour. A bit of light rain, but here we are in the greenhouse. And, um, yeah. Cucumber plants gone a bit crazy. Uh, and everything else is still flowering and producing fruit. Big balls. It's got some nice things growing there. Uh, I've topped him off. Stopping growing any further now. I'll do these when they just get a little bit more higher, just about there. And uh, I'll start topping them off as well. And then we'll hopefully start seeing the the fruit really develop. Just need it to redden up now, which will be nice. Chilies are coming on. Look at them bad boys. I want to eat one now. Uh, so we've got some flowers on the other ones. Coming on nice. Right. <laughs> Kim has been trying to grow lemon tree, so <laughs> we'll just have to go home and research <laughs> what the leaves on the uh, on the shoots of a lemon tree look like. So um, I suspect they're all weeds. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. That's one of our pips, actually. There we go. Let's put them back in. So I suspect that she is actually growing. She's actually done it. She'd be a big head. I told her she wouldn't be able to do it. But, um, the onions are coming on now. Onions are looking a bit bigger. Into the pot and shed now. Kim's been busy beavering away. So what are you doing? I'm do lettuce. Lettuce? Yeah. See. So what have we got in this one over here? Radishes. Radishes. That one over there? Carrots. Carrots. And you hear you're going to do some radishes. No, yeah. lettuce. Lettuce. Which is them ones there. And is it one seed? So what we got here? Some lettuce green leaves. So March to August, harvest April to October. Carrots, same again I believe, so we can get in these in the sort of end of July, and the radishes, same again I think they are, nice, as you can see, I've harvested all my potatoes, so um, we've probably got about 30 kilos out, not as much as what I was expecting, but good. And, you know, we've, we've given some away, because we're not going to eat all that lot. Let's have a show you around. So, there's me, uh, where all my potatoes were. So I'll now pre prepare that soil. And we will put in there, in my little makeshift little greenhouse here, we've got some Radishes, um, carrots, and uh, lettuce. So I remembered to split them before I put them in, um, so they won't all grow together. This one of beans coming on. We decided to grow up with the broad beans. We're still getting lots of broad beans, which is good. And my uh, spray has done wonders. 
for uh, killing off all the aphids, as you can see. So hopefully this good, good lot of rain we're having to just wash all them away. But we're growing these, um, I can't remember what these are called, uh, but these are going to be our little sacrificial plants because the aphids love these. Um, now we know what to do, we'll put these in before we grow the runners and all that next time. I can't remember, I'll get you the name of them. I'll get you the name of them later. But apparently the aphids go mad for them, so there are little sacrificial little lambs. Uh, cucumbers. They're growing mad at the minute, really growing. Oh! Need to kill myself then. And, look, remember this one I said that he wasn't flowering in, in, the, in the greenhouse? So now he is. So um, obviously putting him outside has done some good. Courgettes. You see, got a little courgette growing there. Um, <laughs> spiky and horrible. I don't know, the wife will tell you what they are. She's got them off the neighbour. Uh, pumpkin, celery's looking good. And me broccoli uh, are growing back, which is good, but I don't know whether they're just going to keep going back to flower. But we'll see. Uh, parsnips looking good. And me dwarfs, me dwarf runner beans. Oh, I thought they would have gone a little bit higher than that. But, like I say, they're, they're flowering. As I'll show you over here. Look at them. Lovely. So we're, we're getting eaten. This is the deer. It's the deer. Right, Collie. Got another one that's decided to die. So we are left with two. Uh, but I'm not looking, looking, look at them. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, and the Swedes are really coming on now, so I'm really happy with the Swedes. Really happy. And the cabbages. Still plenty more growing. Like you see, they're starting to heart up now. Lovely. So, yum yum, tummy time. Look at that, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, oh, oh! Is that raspberries? It's amazing. Steve's still doing his job. Apples are coming on. Can't wait to start munching on the apples. Yeah. Let's get back to the shed. Let's get back to the pot in the shed. You can see I've built the, uh, the seats. So, just to kind of do the, the backrest, I'm going to get, get over an old pallet and just uh, pall it up. Just this back bit, so it'll be at an angle, like that. Uh, and then I'm going to get some sponge, just to put it on there. And there we go. Let's throw them in half, look. Sorted. Well, I said there, we're going to build a, a little shelf here. Which is going to be about that height. Yeah. So, all looking good. And I'm not glad we've now got... I'm not glad we've got the shed. We've got allotment over there. I don't know if you can see it. It's... Uh, Directly there, can you see this sort of like the stone path? 
the guy was out there last week just in his underpants and he burnt all the grass because it was really high grass and he burnt all the grass and then he's been out there and he's um, been doing a lot of brick work and he's put a lot of gravel down. And there was me thinking I spent a little bit too much on the allotment. I must have spent a fortune. Less. Less. That's just a load of old bricks that he's had left over. Mmm. Mmm. Keep an eye on what he's doing. Probably look really nice out when he's done. Need sorting out there. All still a bit of a mess. But this is um topsoil we've been getting from a uh, from a nursery, and uh, we've been getting it a pound a bag. And uh, it's there's a few stones in it. These are the stones that we just sieve out. But it's it's really good. I mean, a pound a bag. You can't you can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong. But this this is all going to be back. Come on, to my dolls. Got a big cucumber off this one now. Look at that one. He's looking good, isn't he? Looking nice. And that's for the hybrid. He's uh, now got another one coming. Let's just see him there. Uh, he's got plenty more coming off him. But he's uh, seems to have slowed down just a bit. But I don't mind because the, the other one's um, picking up the slack. So we'll probably take him home in the next couple of days, that one, because we've still got two cucumbers at home. we take that one home in two days, and then hopefully these will then start coming on. But he's uh, just taken over the greenhouse, that one. It's gone crazy. Mm. So this is the same type as the one that we've I moved outside, uh, which is a gardener's delight. So I can understand because this one was in flower, he was producing fruit, and the one that was there would just produced nothing, which is strange. I can only assume it's because the Cucumber plant is just blocking his light, which is explain why this one's a little bit stunted. He's not grown so high. But that's okay, he's, he's, he's fruited. And if he's not going to get much bigger, I just might top him. And he can just put all his power into, into growing. And that's for our cherry tomatoes. Lovely. So I've just um, watered and feeding them. Put these things in the ground, but I don't know what they're doing. Don't seem to be doing anything. Hmm. Just another another feed you can use with the uh, with the one you were using the watering can. And I've got to do some weeding. But I save that for another day. These are coming on me. Looking lovely. It's so all in all a, uh, a wet but not miserable day. Um, I'm happy we've got there, right? Save me having to go around with the hose. So, that's me update, Paulie. And to everyone else, and uh, thank you very much for all the new subscribers. Big hello. Uh, keep punching that, uh, that like button. And uh, share it. Why not share me? If you think I'm okay, share me. So until the next video, keep watching and we'll see you soon. Bye. I'd like to love you, love you. I'd like to love you, love you. I'd like to love you, night and day, if I may, may.